240 million years ago, swimming in the waters of the Jurassic period, there was something that looked like this. Today, swimming in the waters of North America, there is something that looks like this. Using your best observation skills, you may have noticed that not much has changed. The gar species are some of the most ancient fish to exist on Earth today. Gar are considered to be the only surviving members of a group of bony fish that flourished across the world in ancient times. Because these fish have the slowest known rate of molecular evolution among all jawed vertebrates, they have also slowed their rate of speciation diversity, meaning that there aren't a whole lot of different gar species relative to the time that they have spent on this earth. For that reason, you'll notice that there isn't much variation in color and patterns as you look at these fish side by side. So in order to correctly identify a gar, it's important to study the extent of each species' range and then pay attention to details like snout length and spotting. Gars have elongated bodies, heavily armored with incredibly hard scales. This has helped protect them from harsh predators throughout the ages. Gar are predatory fish with long jaws filled with long, sharp teeth. While it isn't always hard to get a gar to strike a lure while fishing for them, it can sometimes be tricky to land the fish as their mouths are nearly all teeth and bone and there is little soft tissue for the hook to penetrate. In this video, I will go over all the species of gar using pictures and range maps. This video is the sixth installment of a series that I am doing on the fish species of North America. If this style of video interests you, I encourage you to watch the other videos that I have made in this series. Now there are only seven species of gar on Earth today, and all seven species are found in North and Central America. Most exist in the eastern United States, however there are a few that are found further south, one species being the Cuban gar. The Cuban gar is found exclusively in western Cuba and La Isla de la Juventud, otherwise known as the Isle of Youth. Adult Cuban gar are typically one meter or a little over three feet but they can grow as large as two meters or about six and a half feet. The Cuban gar is the second largest of the species of gar. Along with the other species of gar, it is known for its high tolerance of ammonia and nitrate levels. It has the ability to breathe some atmospheric air in the absence of sufficiently oxygenated water. It is also a very disease resistant fish. All that aside, the Cuban gar is still a critically endangered fish due to human interference. The tropical gar is the other species of gar that is found south of the continental U.S. Its range begins in southern Mexico and continues down through Central America as far as Costa Rica. It can grow to be about 4 feet long but typically maxes out at only 2 feet. The tropical gar looks very similar in markings to the longnose gar, which I will soon go over. However, the tropical gar has a shorter snout than the longnose gar. While most gar aren't regularly eaten, there are some cultural dishes in Central America that are made with this gar. As the name indicates, the longnose gar has extremely elongated jaws that form a needle-like snout, making up for a decent portion of the entire length of the fish. These gar are olive brown or green in color, lined with an irregular pattern of black spots that extend throughout the tail. Like many other gar, you might observe this species coming to the surface to take a gulp of air as they are capable of breathing air when the water conditions are stagnant or warm and oxygen levels are low. They typically reach about 2-3 to three feet, but have the potential to grow longer under the right circumstances. The longnose gar has a somewhat extensive range that covers most of the eastern U.S. Next is the shortnose gar. The shortnose gar is the smallest gar, seldom reaching 5 pounds in weight, and usually around 24 inches in length. The mouth is broad and flat, like a duck's bill but it is still filled with very sharp teeth. The term short nose is relative only towards the other gar species, as compared to most other fish, it still has a very long snout. The short nose gar is more of a river fish in comparison to the long nose gar. They have a torpedo shaped body armored with scales, just like all other gar. They're usually an olive gray in color with infrequent black spots. Their range runs from Louisiana up through the Midwest. Spotted gar will usually have a beautiful array of large black spots across the entire body. They can be common in the southern states and are found as far north as southern Ontario, however they are very rare in that portion of their range. The spotted gar usually maxes out at 2-3 to three feet and 4-6 to six pounds, making it one of the smaller species on this list. Spotted gar are often found in clear, slow, and shallow waters of creeks, rivers, and lakes. Like other gar species, it occasionally enters brackish or more salty waters. The Florida gar is found only in Florida. 
It is almost identical to the spotted gar. The only reliable identifier of differentiating the two is the distance between the eye on the edge of the gill cover. For Florida gars, the distance is less than two-thirds the total length of the snout. In spotted gars, this measures more than two-thirds of the entire length of the fish's snout. But visually, they are the same pattern. One of the largest freshwater fish of North America, the alligator gar is likely the most famous of all gar because of its extreme size. They commonly grow to be six feet, but some records indicate that they can grow as large as 10 feet. The largest gar ever caught was found in a net in the Mississippi River and weighed 327 pounds. It was thought that this fish may have been 70 years old. The adult alligator gar is somewhat bland in color, usually just being a solid olive gray without many spots and some light patterning. There's a misconception that large alligator gar are aggressive towards humans. However, there are no confirmed records of an alligator gar ever attacking a person. Some people consider gar to be a trash fish because they aren't great to eat and they prey on other game species. However, while making this video, I couldn't help but admire these amazing creatures. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing as a free way for you to support me in making videos like this. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you on the next one.